What's going on guys? This is Empty Cup. Today I'm going to bring you an updated version of the tutorial on how to install uh, the Wolf of Steel community pack for Saga Hunter 5. The community pack has updated from version 1.612 to 2.0 and it's always recommended after a big update that you reinstall the game. So after you have uninstalled the game you would want to uh, open uh, the CCleaner just uh, analyze for problems like this. Uh, I don't want to close my browser, but um, after you have done this, you're going to run the cleaner, you're going to the registry, scan for issues. I just, in, I just did it, so it shouldn't be non, no issues for me. Do this a few times until there is no more issues to be scanned for, and you are good with the installation. Because every time you un uninstall a game, there is going to be files left over here and there on your computer and this nifty little program is going to pick up those files and delete them. It may save you a lot of problems. So let's uh, get that out of the way and before we start the tutorial I want to make you aware of this post by the Burbster on the Subsume forums of course. Uh, this is a very informative post, uh, one of the best on uh, on Sun Hunter 5, everything you would need to know about the game. If you have problems, if you need uh, instruction on how to do a certain thing, I bet you you find it down here in this uh, in this post by the Burbster. So uh, I'm going to link it in the description as always. I just want to make you aware of this post uh, because it is fabulous. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to uh, head into uh, I'm going to show you everything from A to Z, but I'm going to try to keep it uh, short and sweet uh, and to the point as well. So here is the well, launcher of the game, just uh, hit install. Uh, we have to do some uh, tweaking uh, while installing this game because we need to install it with German voices and some people have problems doing this, so uh, just hit next, yes you agree with all of these of course, um, and you're going to hit custom installation here, and hit next, uh, if you have uh, your game installed on the default location just hit next down here, but uh, I have to change my since uh, I have all my games on a separate drive, and I want them in my spill folder, which is games, English, Yeah, that looks about good. Here we are going to tick German voices, this is important. So uh, let's hit next. Uh, I'm using a QWERTY keyboard, so I'm going to hit next and just install. When the game prompts you to install the DirectX version, you are going to accept that because uh, the game needs it. Uh, should be golden, guys. So you install the game and set it up for modding. Okay mega community pack okay guys so uh, the game uh, is uh, done installing and now we are going to update it to version 1.2 you're going to go to your game install location and you're going to hit the support and game updater and just uh, press this uh, game updater xe program here and uh, going to download uh, the update and uh, you're just going to install it like uh, any other program this is very important if you want to mod a game, if you don't update it. Yes, we would like to run it. If you don't update the game, you are not going to... Uh, mod pack is not going to work for you. So let's just... Uh, let the updater finish, it shouldn't take too long. And when this updater is done, the game is going to automatically start up, so I'll see you back at the desktop, so we can continue this guide. So, now you have installed the game, you have updated it to the latest version, and then you're going to head over to this post on the Subs and Forums by Vecco. And note, this is not for the Steam version of the game, if you really like this game and you have it on Steam, uh, you could just head over to Amazon and pick up a disc version of the game or even download it from Amazon and uh, skip uh, the Steam version for this game altogether because it's going to save you a lot of problems in store. There is a workaround but I'm just going to focus on this guide now and not how you install it on the Steam version. I don't own this game on Steam so I don't know how to make it work on Steam either. So um, sorry Steam. <laughs> 
Okay, so now we have done this. We're going to go down to step number one. Download the Wolf of Steel version point. Just uh, click this link. It's going to uh, uh, throw you over to this page. You have to be reg registered to this uh, Substance Forums to be able to download, but that's fine. So here you are. You are just going to download. Press this link and it's download for you. When you have done that, you can just uh, go the way down and uh, hit this. Uh, this is extra mods that's working with uh, the page. One is a complete uh, installer where you install all of them. And this is a raw file. You need WinRAR or 7-zip to unpack it. This is the version I have downloaded because I don't need all of the extra mods. Need one. I'm going to show you that later on. So uh, click the one you want here and download it as well. So we have downloaded uh, uh, the EXE version for 2.0 Southern Thunder Expansion Pack and now we're going to install it. So uh, this is it. You're just going to click it once or twice uh, depending on how you have set up your system and uh, here you just click accept but you have to change the install location if you did not install it into the default location just hit ok and then you can install it this is going to take a little bit of time because it's about two gigabytes so uh, back when it's done installing guys so it's done installing the mod pack into my game folder and it's going to automatically open a generic mod enabler so here is Wolf of Steel 2.0 version, just uh, select this and hit this little arrow pointing to the right and let the game install it into the activated mod section. Okay, so the main mod is done enabling. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to take the real navigation and also toss this over. You want to hit yes of course because you are going to override some files. Nice. Then we're going to take uh, encrypted BDU orders and uh, activate that as well. Hit yes. And these ones we can just uh, delete because uh, I'm using the default 16x9 resolution. I don't need the other. I have a few extra mods here, which are my personal preferences. And here is the uh, extra mods we downloaded. It's going to look like this when you download. Just right click, 7-zip, uh, extract to. Uh, to this one, drag it down here and open it all up. Uh, I am going to pick one which is uh, auto ship recognition. You are just going to drag it into uh, the generic mod enable like this. Close this, delete all of this, and uh, we can now go ahead and enable the last one. If you want any from the extra mods. If not, this is all optional. The same is real navigation and encrypted BDU orders. You don't need them if you don't want to, but of course it's highly recommended. Just going to throw over these extra few mods here. Yes, yes. Okay, nice. You have modded your game, guys. Congratulations. Let's head back to the post by Veko. Just did step number two, guys. So we are jumping down to step number four. Where is step number three? Okay, never mind. Oh, we have two step number fours. Okay, nice. So uh, press this little link down here. I'm going down here to how to properly activate the TDW generic patcher. What is explained here? So um, open the generic patcher file noted. Uh, Sound of the five. Um, okay, I I'll show you. It's in your install folder. this and you're going to open the config file generic patcher.config there it is you can use notepad notepad plus plus which is a more powerful version of the notepad and i like it the most and you're going to change all of these lines if you have the default install location you don't need to do anything here but since i have changed my install location i need to make all of these lines match my install location so let me just do that right away okay so when you have changed all of this to match your install location you do want to save it okay it has been saved then you're going to go back into uh, 
a TDV generic patch or folder and you're going to start the patch right up and here it is the language you prefer and we're going to hit if you go back to here file backup and backup all offered files okay we are going to do that right away here is the patcher file we're going to uh, did i skip a step yes i did I'm going to click file then open and start hitting enter oh, times so let's do that file open and uh, just uh, smash the enter key until you are done okay nice now we have done step number three click file backup and backup all offered files so let's do that right away file backup hit enter again Okay, so we have backed up all the files right now, which is good. Now click file, restore snapshot and double click. The Wolf of Steel 2.0 snapshot GPS. Okay, let's do that right away. File, restore snapshot. And it's going to find it automatically for you. Just press it and it's restoring snapshot. Successfully, very nice. Okay, then you can just close the generic file patcher, and you can close this window as well and go back to the install guide from Veco. Go to see that your documents folder. Go to Silent Hunter 5, go to Data, Config, and here you are going to delete the main config file. Because when you start a game, it's going to create a new one. New and correctly configured file will be automatically created on next game launch. You don't have to do anything in the main config file anymore, so let's just delete. Nice. Step number five. Star Hunter 5 may appear frozen on start. It's going to take a while to load up the game with the mods and everything. Nothing unusual. Wait a few seconds, start a new campaign, and don't forget to save, reload the game the first time your avatar appears in the bunker. I'm going to start my campaign from where I saved, so I, I can skip this. But if you are going to restart the game, start a new campaign, uh, don't forget to do this step, start a new campaign and just exit as soon as the uh, cinematic intro starts. Well, you know, screw it, let's just do it. Let's just do it. So, let's uh, start up my Ubisoft game launcher and uh, start up the game and I'll meet you back inside there. Where is it? Here it is. New campaign. Oscar Entinkler. Fine. And just uh, hit uh, start the game. Hey guys, the game started up. Here you are in the bunker. If you ne the name that you want uh, earlier, you can just uh, change all your options to your liking and uh, save the game. And when you reload the game, you should be good to go with the mod pack installed correctly and successfully. So there is only one more thing to say then, happy hunting!